Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Origins where this is my first Origins recording of the year. Yay! Um Oh my gosh, this is I forgot this was what we were wearing. Okay, we're close to We have several options. I was thinking about forwarding the story. But uh, since we're close to that, I kind of want to grab it and see what's up. Again, this is my my first recording of the year, so it has been, or my first recording of this in a while, so forgive me, my trespasses. That's right. I'm saving up for that. Also, um, somebody did tell me that I did finish the baker thing, so that's good. Like that side quest that I had, um, and I feel like I feel like we've been doing a lot of side quests, so it might be time, it might be time to do a main quest. But first, I'm gonna see what this is. <coughs> oh, be. It's been a while, Egypt. How's it going? What is that? <coughs> you might be able to hear my dog breathing. He's like <laughs> right next to me. <coughs> He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, saving Egypt. I'm very busy. Is it like, it's probably like a, an entrance to the pyramid or something. Oh, is it underground? Is it, like, inside? Oh! Uh -huh. Oh ho! hang on. Whoa! Okay! Wait, I'm almost leveled up, too. There's probably snakes. So that we may never again suffer the floods brought, that brought the famine, the merchant Hanu has placed his grain sacks here. It is enough to make 100 loaves of 20 pepsu bread or 10 jugs of 10 pepsu malt date beer. Nice. Reminder, I can squeeze through this crack, but I can't because there's something in the way. Okay. Thanks for reminding me, game. I love that they put the little thing there for your torch. And that it's just automatic. You don't have to worry about it. We're exploring a tomb today, kids. And it's a good thing. Can I crawl under this? Oh! Oh, snap. Yeah, buddy, I can. I thought, I, I saw something glowing. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll get around to it. But it turns out, you get, I was like, I wonder. Even though it was all covered in cobwebs, I was like, I wonder if I can go under that. Turns out I can. Mm, now I'm looking for, like, cracked walls and stuff. You're telling me there's oh I could go through that for sure. Um okay. Let's see. Snakes. There is that that I can move. Which is what I saw earlier, I think. So it's like a shortcut. No, that's something different. Oh no! Okay. What's this? 
How do I get in there? That's the treasure room. Or actually, no, it's just full of candles. Okay, that's a little shrine. Ah, there's a thing. That's the stuff that you gotta get to up. There's like a certain armor set that you have to get, or that you have to get a bunch of those for. Um, maybe that way is the way in. Let's check out this. Well, we haven't been through here. Oh wow, nice. Is this like a... through here? No? Okay. Dead end. Good. I love finding dead ends because that means I've finished <laughs> with that area. Okay. Big room. There's one just sitting out. Okay. Imhotep, the one who comes in peace, Chancellor of the King of Egypt, Doctor, first in line after the King of Upper Egypt, Administrator of the Great Palace, Hereditary, no hereditary Nobleman, High Priest of Heliop Heliopolis, Builder, Chief Carpenter, Chief Sculptor, and Maker of Vases and Chief, Honoring Death is in line. Okay, nice. Imhotep, yeah, was a very... Yeah, it was second only to the King. It was a real person, an actual historical person. Who was like honored as a god, basically. I think they were honored, he was honored more than uh, the pharaoh himself. People thought he was the coolest thing. Hmm. Can I? Oh, it's, I was like, can I climb this? Breaking into Imhotep's tomb, though, I feel really weird about that. Like, I'm like fighting looters, and then I'm like, just kidding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take your stuff. Okay. Looks like I'll be getting around there. Oh crap! Oh god! <laughs> I was like, what killed you? No, 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 no. I'm trying to. Yeah. Actually, a skeleton corpse here too. Sorry, guy. I avenged you, but I can't click on you because I already avenged you. Oh, I lit that thing. Nice. Aha! Oh, oh, lies. I was lied to. Oh, it's like the false, the false ones. <laughs> Made to, uh, trick thieves, like me. Then His Majesty, the King of Upper, e Upper and Lower Egypt, Khufu, Khufu, said, Let an offering be made of a thousand loaves of bread, a hundred jars of beer, one ox, and two balls of incense to the King of Upper and Lower Egypt, Joser, justified. 
And let there be given one cake, one jug of beer, a large portion of meat, and one ball of incense to the chief lector priest, as I have seen an example of his learning. Okay. Ancient writing from the old kingdom. We found it! Yay! An ability point! So many things. I mean, some tombs had stuff like organized really pretty, but I think some did just kind of pile things in like a storage unit. Like, eh, if you want it in the afterlife, you'll have access to it. <laughs> here he might as well and his radiance tasked Imhotep to build him a home for the afterlife and Imhotep said I shall represent your splendor and endure the ages as a reminder of your greatness it took 20,000 men to build this to this place and said Thoth sent me a vision and here we shall build a mastaba greater than all the other mastabas and the people said we offer everything you need to honor our great father and that's written on like a stone tablet? Like a rounded stone tablet? Okay. Here's that room! It's a secret room. Oh, hello! Son of Horus, ruler of all, representative of the gods, builder of temples, and culture, beloved father of our people, Joser Nehurkite. Nechireke. Maybe. I'm probably butchering that. Well, how does one get in there? not gonna let me. I'm like just close enough, but it's not gonna let me. Well, and there was that one area that had the things that I could sort of move, but not really because they were stuck. sounding area. Yeah, it's this. I mean... Could I... too hung up on it. It's like, unless there's like a crack or something that I could, can I climb? I think these walls are too smooth. Let me jump over there. No. Hmm. Oh, here's a cracked wall. 
fake one. Uh, nope, doesn't look like it. Out we go. We made it! And I just realized that once I level up, which will be momentarily, um, I'll have three points and I can get that jumping ability that I wanted. The flying through the air with the greatest of ease and shooting people down. We look so cool! Alright, well now I'm worried I don't have enough time. For, um... What are you doing, dog? For uh, a main quest, but, you know... Oh, this is interesting. But I gotta use my cool weapons that I have. I have to use the Final Fantasy weapon. Maybe I'll level it up. I'm not quite level 30, but maybe I'll level it up. But not right now. So, what I have to do... Is... We can at least meet the informant. I think we've done most of the quests, of the, like searching quests in Fayum. Which was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like most of the quests that like sort of build up to the, to the main baddie, you know? There is one question mark that I may go check out really quick, but. We'll at least get the main quest progressed. I only have like 38 hours in this game. So like, I don't know, I feel like I'm nearing the end, but I think some people have said that I'm not quite there. Maybe a little over halfway. Dials. Hang on. Look and see. Alright, I'm gonna look at this really quick. What a pretty place! I just I just think this game is gorgeous. Odyssey is pretty too, but I think Origins is my fave. Covert grain store, alright. So we have to find the Treasure. Hang on. There we go. Is this the kind of thing where you guys don't want me to be here? <laughs> Gods here are vigilant. There's only one. Two. Three. this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try. It did work. I'm on. Hi. Hi. Oh, what's this? 
orders from above, our security so far has been faultless. We must continue our efforts to safeguard these stores from prying eyes. We are not just controlling the price of grain and fayum. We are maintaining price control from Egypt all the way to Rome. Remember the importance of your task. Prosperity for all, security for all, culture for all. Creepy! Alright, so this is another one of those little things where, like, they're trying to control market prices for something as basic as grain. Kitty! Kitty! Are you a real- I think this one's glitched. Look at this. It has, it's not doing anything. This is like a cat that's not supposed to exist. That's- I hear you, Mary! That's so weird! Has there always been a dot in the middle of my screen? Or is that new? <laughs> if it's always- Oh, maybe it's because I don't- you're, I'm not normally crouched. <laughs> Anyway, it's Egypt. Cats are kind of, you know, gods and ghosts and stuff, so, you know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to go look at that shop. <laughs> I'm just stalling, don't mind me. Let's see what the cursed cat shop has for sale. I hope this cat stays here forever. There's the real cat. Your ghost is back there. Uh, where's the... Where is it? Oh. Hello! I need... Oh, look at 777. Nice. Nope. I like what I've got. Pretty sure I have... I don't think I have the Persian guard, actually, but I don't have it on purpose. Because I didn't want it. But I have this one, which looks really, really cool. I do miss being able to, like, upgrade my outfits, like, but, like, upgrade, like, 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 get different outfits based on, like, different resources I had collected, but, I mean, I'm doing a pretty good job so far. Dang, though. The Hidden Blade wants those, like, fancy fancy things that I only have eight of that apparently it takes a lot of to get one of the final armor sets. So, I'm a little hesitant on that, but let me know. Actually, let me know what you guys think. Is it worth it to fully upgrade the Hidden Blade with the that rare resource, or should I save it for that armor set? Now, for the true... Is that a snake charmer? <gasps> Just a musician, but that's still very cool. Nice. The true challenge is finding a way in. Seems I'm not the first visitor today. What do you mean? What do you? Otifred. Nick, he's not here. I need to find out where my informant is. They killed the killed the cat. Is that a cat? Ah. <sighs> Would have done such or a thing. A dog? I think it might what be were a... you protecting, boy? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Mm, a lot of damage, but no blood or signs of a fight. Maybe he fled before this happened. Well, why didn't he mm. take his dog? These scrolls tell me nothing useful. I should check upstairs. He left his dog. A Siberian tiger. Wow. Uh, those are not native to Egypt. <laughs> Greek settlement is more secure for all. More security for all, except not. Oh, uh, creepy. So they're taking what they want from Egypt. And then we encountered this last time we were here. Yeah, they're taking what they want from Egypt and then not giving anything back. Like last time we were in Fayum, this was a problem that was being... The child's doll. Oh, I'm gonna kill this neck of the other's crocodile. So the, the 
guy run with his family? Scrolls and ink. Ah, I think that tells me where Hotefres has gone. Wait, feathers. From a messenger pigeon. Those are big feathers. Prosperity for all! Those are such blatant lies! Oh my gosh, it's amazing! Oh, oh, uh, oh, he has a pigeon thingy right here. There? Oh. The crocodile knows who I am, one of my servants has already been arrested by soldiers on false charges and taken to the nearby military camp. Okay, Crocodile, let's dance. If you so desperately want to cross swords with me, you'll have to catch me. Okay. A letter left behind by my informant. It looks like he fled, but the soldiers caught his servant. If the servant is still alive, he'll know where Hotifles is. They'll be holding him at the nearby military camp. Ah, oh, can I just kill the Greek... Actually, I might just kill the Greek orator. <laughs> oh, <maybe>. uh, yes. <laughs> I was hoping. <laughs> if your text keeps popping up on my screen, Greek orator, I'm gonna have to get rid of you. Stop licking the door, dog. Decision. Did you just say my name? I don't know, like she said, Bayek. Oh, the nearby military camp. Okay, time to bring out maybe my mount. Right. Let's go! Dang it. In uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, if you click, maybe it's if you hold? Not this one. Something about L1 lets you stand on your mouth. Whoa. Thank you, Camel. I have a hard time believing this guy would still be alive, honestly, but you know. Stranger things have happened. Oh, perfect. What? Okay. There's like nobody at the gate? Oops, I didn't mean to say like that. I was gonna say there's gotta be more guards. Apparently this ship area, this like shipyard, is gonna be like a location though for me to find. Oh, we should definitely get the uh, upgrade. Oh yeah! <laughs> Look at all my upgrades. See if we can't quickly get this guy rescued at least. Here. There's not a ton of them. <laughs> Whoa! What? What? I can climb on the roof! I 
I mean, that'll take me straight to the boat where the captain's at, but I don't know if I want to do that. <laughs> Owie. basically just as well. I was trying to toss him, but you know, this is fine also. Hotefre send you? No, but I must find him. I need his help to find the crocodile. Will you help me? Hotefre took a trader ship to Lake Moeris. It has a large statue on board and is marked by our symbol. The crocodile has hired mercenaries to find him. Then I must hurry. Get somewhere safe. Be well. The important thing is if you told them or not. If you told the guys who were holding you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't blame you. That was a lot of blood in that sh in that area, that cage. <gasps> Whew! Take care of yourself, my guy. All right. Well, we've started the next segment of the crocodile, so I'm afraid I'll have to call it there. But thank you guys so much for waiting and for watching this one. Uh, it's probably my favorite Assassin's Creed so far, to be to be honest. So thank you again, and I hope to see you in the next one. <laughs>